This video will explain the basic infusion startup process for the Triumph SP12 syringe pump. Start by pressing the power button for two seconds. This will turn the pump on. The pump now prompts a user to clear last treatment. Selecting yes will clear all remaining data from the previous infusion. Selecting no will pick up where last left off from the previous infusion. If no selection is made after 30 seconds, the pump will automatically clear the data. The next page is the home screen where infusion parameters will be entered. The current infusion mode can be found at the bottom of the home screen. There are two different ways to change the current mode. The easiest way is to touch the bottom of the home screen and select in your preferred mode. The other way is by pressing one of the two menu buttons, selecting modes, and choosing your preferred mode. At this point, install the syringe by first depressing the plunger handle and extending the arm all the way out. Second, pull the barrel clamp out and rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise to engage. Next, install the syringe, ensuring the flange of the syringe is seated all the way in the flange holder. This is an important step because if you don't have the flange seated correctly, the pump may not recognize the correct size of syringe. Next, depress the plunger handle and secure it on the plunger. Make sure that the plunger holder is all the way up against the plunger on the syringe. Rotate the barrel clamp to secure the syringe barrel. Now the pump will ask you to verify the syringe manufacturer and size. The pump will automatically default to the last brand used. If a different brand is being used, simply select different brand. Notice at the bottom of the screen, there are arrows and a page reference. To scroll through the brands, simply select next page, previous page, or back to go to the previous screen. Notice some manufacturers are grayed out. This is either because the plunger is too short and is not accepted by the pump, or the manufacturer does not simply make that size of syringe. In this case, we'll verify that we're using a Monojet 60. Once you have verified the correct syringe size and manufacturer, you will enter the infusion parameters. Do this by selecting the appropriate boxes on the touchscreen. Purge if necessary by pressing one of the two purge buttons. Once again, verify the syringe size and manufacture. Verify your settings. And finally, start the infusion by pressing one of the two start buttons.